Hello guys, welcome to another video. In the previous video, we have seen what is agentic rag. Now we are seeing what is adaptive rag. Adaptive rag is nothing but the next version of agentic rag we can see. Where the, in the Langston documentation they say it's both one is query analysis and the one is self correction rag. Agentic rag is just self correction. Adaptive rag is both query analysis and self correction both. It's like a next version of agentic rag. That's it. So I'm just setting environment variables, importing the liquid libraries and I'm using the same um, links which I've used in the previous uh, video as well for the agentic rag. These two links uh, have some information on how to make the human stay happy. That's it. I'm just using the web based loader here to load the URLs. That's it. I'm splitting using recursive character text splitter based on the 500 size. I'm saying zero overlap. If you want more about this, you can watch my videos in the Langgraph or Langchain playlist. That's it and I'm just splitting them and I'm using the chroma as a vector DB and storing them in the vector DB. Now I'm, I'm retrieving the content based on this method called as retriever. So the, the, in the further goes, we have, we'll use this variable retriever. So first thing what we do is in adaptive rag is we build multiple LLMs here. One is for routing, one is for grading, one is to check whether the LLM is high, hallucination or not. All for those we create the LLMs. So I'm using the Pydantic way because the open A supports the Pydantic way. So here I have a class called road class and here I have a variable called data source. Our LLM will have two options either to do a web search or to check the vector store. So to route the query to a web search or to a vector store, it, this particular uh, chain will decide whether it should send the request to the web search or to the vector store. That's it. So this output of this variable will decide whether to go to the web search or to the vector store. That's it. So I have an LLM and I'm binding this, this particular class to that LLM. And now I have a prompt. So I'm building a chain with that prompt uh, and the LLM. That's it. So the output will say when I ask you one best tip to make humans stay happy, it, it, it suggested web search only. Who, who won the ICC World Cup recently? It suggested web search only. Ideally, I was expecting for this query, it should use the retriever because we are using the human based retriever here, right? But right now it suggested web search only. We'll see that. So the, the this particular prompt or this particular LLM or this particular chain, whatever you call, is used to just navigate our query to the vector store or to the web search. That's it. Similarly, we have an another uh, LLM or another chain here, which will grade whether the queries which we have given and the response we got from the retriever are both in sync or not. That is done by this particular chain. So I'm again using the Pydantic way. If you want, I in my playlist, I have explained what is Pydantic way and what all other options with which we can call the tools and get the response and all. You can watch my playlist. So here I'm, I have a class called grad, grade documents. This also has only one argument which is binary score. It will just return yes or no. That's what we are explaining here. So the model we are just binding that to the model. So the model will return yes or no and we can fetch that information using this model dot binary score. That's it. I mean this chain dot binary score, something like that. I'll show you now. So I have a prompt. Now that prompt and the LLM will become a chain and that chain dot invoke of I'm passing the question and the text and the text we got is like I'm using this retriever which we have here above. That's it. So I'm just testing. Uh, I'm just showing you here, but we don't need this particular piece of code right now. We need only this particular chain while building the nodes. So this particular chain is used in the nodes. Here, this is just to show you that's it, the output. So I it's, it's code yes. So like that it grades whether it's relevant or not, the output and the question which we asked. So this is the master chain here. For this, I'm using the prompt from uh, Langchain Hub. That's it. There are some common prom prompts which we can directly use them and we are creating a chain. We, with, the, with that uh, prompt, LLM and S output parser. That's it. Th this output parser is just parse the output in the correct way. We don't need un all the response which we got from the model, right? So it will just remove and give only the context. That's it. So this is the master chain. So I've created another chain here. And here I'm creating another chain. This particular chain will just check whether the LLM is hallucinating the response and responding, something like that. Again, I am using the Pydantic way. I have a variable called a binary source. It will just return yes or not, whether uh, it hallucinating or not. That's it. So I have a prompt here. That's it. And prompt and the LLM. LLM is what we have declared here. 
and it is using this uh, this class that's it so when we will use this particular uh, chain to check whether it's hallucinating or not that's it this is just for testing this particular line is just for test uh, showing you the testing but we'll use only this particular chain in our nodes while creating the nodes so similarly we have another uh, chain here called answer grader and here we are just passing a prompt using this prompt we are just checking with the help of llm whether the answer which we have summarized for that question works or not but above here we are just checking whether the documents retrieved from the uh, vector db syncs with the question or not and here we are just checking whether the answer or the summarized answer by an llm is in sync with the question or not that's it both are kind of similar that's it and we are just creating another chain here and all these chains are used underneath while creating the nodes that's it place if any of our uh, above chain predicts like that there is no sync between the question and answer it has to rephrase the question so that rephrase is done by this chain that's it so we have just built multiple chains each chain for one specific uh, use one is to grade one is to check whether the document is in, uh, and the question are in sync or not one is to check the hallucination one is to rewrite the question in case if the document response is not in sync with the question we have asked so for all these kind of scenarios so we have another chain here that's it now let's go to the main part so we have another tool here uh, we use tavelli for web search that's it we are using two scenarios here one is rag and another is web search here that's it now here i am creating a class we, you know in lang graph we create a class and we declare some variables and these variables can be accessed at any point in time so similarly here i have two three variables one is question one is generation one is document so i have these three so that i can ask so what is the question we asked to the llm through the final llm and what is the response we got and what is the document so these three can be accessed at any point in time that's why we have declared these three and that's it now the here here comes the node so here retrieve is a node generate is a node grade documents is a node so now if you see inside these nodes we use all the chains which we have created above so this retriever node is nothing but just to invoke the question and get the documents that's it it just returns the documents and questions whenever we call this node so this generate node will invoke the llm with the question and the response we got from this uh, retrieve uh, node and the mapping and all is done down so mapping and all is done if you see from start it should uh, it can either go to the web search or to the retrieve and from retrieve it has to go to the grade documents and then if it does not satisfy then go to the transform query and again go to the retrieve and again grade documents then satisfied then it goes to the generate and in generate it will just wrap the answer or else or else we can say like inside the generate the llm chain which we have created will just uh, rephrase the uh, response we got from the retrieve uh, and then goes to the end something like this so this connection we'll do it uh, later in this piece of code we are doing the connection using the add conditional edge and add edges we are doing the connection between one node to another node but the up we are just creating the nodes here that's it so this is for retriever and this is to just generate the response using the llm here because if you see the rag chain which we have created above we are using here in the grade documents we will use the grade chain which we have created the grade chain name is retrieve grader so using that chain we are just passing the question and the document which we got and it grades whether uh, the question and answer is sync so this particular uh, llm chain will grade whether the question and the re retrieved response is in sync or not so this is one node and from this node to the next node connection will as i said i will see down and then transform query in case if both are not sync then we have to transform the query right uh, or else we, we can call it as we have to rephrase the query right so we are using the co question retriever uh, which we have created if you want i'll just go up see here we are using the this particular chain which we have created here you you if you see the prompt you a question re rewriter that converts the input question to the better version that is optimized like that so first we have created all the chains and inside the nodes we are using the respective chain that's how the adaptive rag will work so we have another node for the web search and next we have root question node in this question uh, we are using the llm chain which we have created above for routing which is question router so now if we go above see we are using this particular chain see that is the prompt we have given so it decides whether to go to the web search or to the vector store 
that's it so first we have created multiple llm chains and using the respective llm chains in the nodes and just we, we are just returning accordingly if it's a web search written by web search if it is a vector store written web store and why it has to return this particular uh, string only because this is a method which is used in the conditional edges so based on this uh, output we will just navigate to the next node accordingly i'll show you that so now we have uh, another method inside which we are using the hallucination grader and checking whether it's hallucinating or it has to regenerate so based on i mean based on the output what this llm chain has uh, written we are just returning that whether we are we are saying whether it's useful or not useful and these particular strings are used down in the conditional edges so now if we come here we have created a graph the basic graph with the class which we have created above graph state and then we are creating the nodes first for web search web search node node is nothing but the method retriever node grade documents node generate transform query all this now we need we are creating the mapping between one node to another node using this conditional edges however it starts with the start only and then from there it has to decide it has to trigger this particular method and inside this method we will uh, check using the llm chain and return whether web search or it should go to the retriever node so now if i go to the particular method see inside this method we are just returning right we have seen before web search or vector store and inside this method we are using this particular llm chain that's it and similarly after web if it is a web search we are asking we are asking to go to the generate node and if it's a retriever we are asking to go to the grade grade documents again from the grade documents we are again calling this particular method and checking whether to go to the transform query or to the generate because inside this particular method we are checking using that specific llm chain whether the response it has returned is correct or not so that's how we just create the conditional edges as we saw above if it's useful then go to the end if it is not useful then again go to the transform query that kind of conditions we are doing and now if you print the graph that's what happening so when it started it will uh, just go either to the web search or to the retriever if it's a web search it goes to the generate and then end if it is a retriever it goes to the grade documents it, it if it is a retriever inside retriever we are using the retrieve specific uh, llm chain and retrieves the documents based on the query which we got from the start and if it then it passes that information to the grade documents inside grade documents using that specific llm chain it decides whether the question and the response we got from the retriever is correct or not if it is fine then go to the generate and from generate to the end if it is not fine then again go to the transform query and come to the retriever and again go to the grade chain that's what uh, we are doing so this is how the conditional edges we have created this is how the linkage of all the nodes using the conditional edges we have created now i just ask one question what are the five easy things human can do to stay happy my intention was to go to the retriever but somehow my llm chain has decided to go with the web search route and it has written some response from the web search so i have run the same query again and first time it went to the web search but uh, from web search it has gone to the grader there it has decided it is not related to the web search so again it went to the retriever and from retriever we got the response it has graded the documents and all hallucination and all checks happen and then it got the response from the uh, vector db so this is how the adaptive rag works so what we have done just to recall we first created the llm chains and then nodes and then edges if not edges we have used the conditional edges how are we had done the conditional edges just the plain python code based on the response we got from the specific llm chains we are navigating either to go to the this node or to the other node that's it thank you so much for watching